Okay, hi, I'm Mr. Simons. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure if people will find this valuable, so I'm just gonna put this out there and see what happens. What I wanted to do is to show people a little bit of my process of how to draw economics graphs with OneNote. Um, I know that a lot of people use computers, iPads, things to create their notes. And that I find OneNote is a very useful tool to be creating very uh, accurate and clear economics graphs in your notes so that you're then able to refer to that all the time to make sure you're learning it correctly and have got it down in a really easy to understand way. Now this is not paid by Microsoft or OneNote, no commercial relationships there, strictly showing you how I do things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two situations. The first one I'll do is I'll show you how I draw a shift in the demand curve. And the second one will be a tariff graph. So in terms of shapes, OneNote has got this really excellent tool that creates uh, axes really neatly in that sense. So then I've got there, I've got this here. I'll just create P, zero point and Q. So then I'll do, if I go to the shapes here, lines that I'll just create. Um, so I've got here, I've got my demand curve, and then I'll put this here. I've got my supply curve. Now, one thing that I do is I tend to draw really, really, really hysterically large points where the curves intersect. And I'll show you why in just a second, I'll label that A. If they're really large, it makes it very easy for me to connect things coming from here because it virtually just kind of hits it wherever I start from. So that here, this is PE, this is QE. Yeah, it's not perfectly straight, but it's, it's good enough for our purposes here. So then what I'm saying is I'm saying, okay, we're looking at a shift in the demand curve and let's say we've got an increase in demand. So I've got market equilibrium set up here and it's all looking relatively okay. What I'll do then is I'll switch up pen, let's grab purple, I'll grab the next shape. And so if I'm gonna draw an increase in demand, I'm gonna shift the demand curve to the right. What I try and do is show as big a movement as possible because that will show the differences in terms of the curve shift quite well. If you do them quite close, it's hard to demonstrate the change. So that that is a shift this way in terms of the demand curve from D to D1, what we'll do is we'll do another hilariously large point here and that that will be point B. And so then I will draw up the new equilibrium points. There is P1, Q1. And then I can also say that, well here, that there will be that expansion in supply because as the price goes up, producers will want to produce more. And so there will be that expansion of supply that goes with the increase in demand. So that would be how I would use OneNote for this particular graph. I mean, I guess you could show that that is an increase there. Um, you might want to call this point out and that's totally fine as well. Um, those would be the key things. So let's move on to a little bit more of a complicated graph. So graph number two would be the imposition of a tariff. So again, I would go to my very useful shape, move my mouse a little bit out of the way here, and I would create this nice and large. So then I've got here, I would do P, zero, Q, same process, supply, demand, my hilarious equilibrium point here. And that's close enough for me, P, E, Q, E. Now, if we're talking about a tariff, we should start with the world price. Um, I've got a separate video on this, which I'll link to in the description. So let's say that the world price, we're gonna make it quite a bit lower than equilibrium price. What we can do is just create this line going straight across here and that there it is. So then this would be price world, the price of imports. Again, some nice big dots on these points here to make it clear, I will label this point B and C. Now this, if I just put S here, it can just remind me, oh, this is a supply curve. So where the price hits the supply curve, quantity supplied. And then over this side, I can see there's the demand curve intersecting with price, quantity demanded. 
Now, in order to draw the actual tariff, so I might get a different color pen and then I'll bring the line back. So then this can be price world plus tariff. Uh, again, another set of comically large points over here. And then I can just intersect those with my quantity axis. So then I've got here, okay, so that's Q S1 and that I can just easily draw the expansion of domestic supply here. And then over here, I can say, oh, that's Q D1 and easily demonstrate the contraction of demand here. So that's how I would draw my tariff graph. Um, you could also, if you wanted to look at government revenue, you could also put shade that in, um, in terms of how you might want to do that. So the size of the tariff by the um, value of the tariff here, and that would be very helpful in making sure that you cover all of the important components when you get into writing your essays and short answers and providing some graphical information to support your responses. Okay, so this was a short video on how I use OneNote to create um, my economics diagrams. Hopefully this was helpful in terms of you putting together some high quality notes. Any questions, comments, or ideas, put them well in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.